and uh, frankly speaking i have not qualified on the first attempt i have also qualified on the second attempt so frankly speaking i gave my net exam on june also but i qualified on december after that all the exams got on qualifying qualifying so when i came on uh, it is very obvious once you will cross the threshold we all are physics students once you cross the th threshold yeah, then you will done. achieve all the yeah, yeah once you cross that it's done all your exams will be of same patterns same questions you will not uh, like feel like you have given an exam it's done you will just click it you will just uh, tick it so and that's uh, all. Uh, Prakash is from Uttarakhand. So, from your his accent, I am very surprised that his accent is absolutely from the Karnataka. And yeah, actually, and I have studied in, in uh, uh, yeah. Bangalore, so, so it's been uh, five years. <laughs> so your accent is dramatically changing. <laughs> <laughs> so Sir, yes, ha. <laughs> huh. Listen. Interview preparation is very simple. They will not ask you very high level question. Whatever you have learned into the class, how you are going to explain it, that is the part of interview. Nothing else. Is that yeah. Right? So I'll just give you an example of an interview which I gave. So for example, uh, uh, just tell me the IAC interview. That yeah, IAC interview was a simple interview. Like uh, there, there is a Michelson interferometer something. Hmm. So uh, in Michelson interferometer, there is a, a plate which you add on. So they just told me, what if you uh, replace this quartz plate with some wooden plate? So that is how you, uh, that is how they ask questions. So, for example, one more question they ask is, uh, in uh, classical uh, classical mechanics, you write uh, momentum as P is equal to H by lambda. Mm -hmm. So, can you write this in a vector form? So, and uh, in a quantum mechanics form, quantum form. So, all these questions they will ask. But it's very easy to write in a matrix form and all.